On the right, we have our B2 with our brand new monster box. So this is a really cool box that we've been working on for a while. So the way this box works is it's an over under. When you're going off road, they get caught on things. And when they get caught on things, they tear up your, your rocker panels and they damage the van pretty heavily. And I didn't want to create a product that would potentially damage people's vans. And I know it sounds rare, it happens all the time. This is a game changer for those that uh, don't have too many people in their van. Try to use a lot of space. We use the door for dirty laundry and trash and first aid and stuff like that. And then um, this is a shower curtain that's kind of cool. This is made by Canyon Adventure Vans. So they designed a shower curtain that pulls way out. Hey everybody, I'm John with Owl and this is my Sprinter van. This actually been with us for a few years now as far as Revels go. It's a Winnebago or it started life as a Winnebago Revel. Maybe one of the most famous Revels out there but uh, you know, it's been around for a while. It's actually an older van, but I love it. I'm not gonna change. Uh, we also have a bunch of other vans. We have a Transit and we have a um, Ultimate Storyteller Beast, also fantastic vans. But since I had this first, it's got a soft spot in my heart. Uh, this van, we joke that it's kind of like the, uh, the test mule. It's constantly getting cut up and changed. We, we prototype on it. so. It's always got different stuff getting swapped out, but right now I'm really excited and it's filthy, I'm sorry. We had uh, a lot of dust and then a lot of rain and I haven't had to clean it because I've been making parts for all of you people. So this is our brand new Pismo bumper and really what we wanted to do this year with the aesthetic of these vans is try to make stuff look more and more factory. So off-road, really clean, but more factory. We work really closely with Mercedes-Benz and so everything we're doing these days we want to look like it could have come out of a Mercedes-Benz catalog. So that's why I moved away from these big giant off-road lights and this big funky bumper and went to these integrated grill lights that we have now and our Pismo bumper that doesn't come off of the van very much. It's very integrated, very clean, and it just gives the overall front of the van that rugged off-road look without looking too overdone. I joke that some of the vans and Jeeps I see these days almost look like those uh, God, where is it? Is it in India where they do the cabs and they all decorate them themselves and they have all of the frilly things hanging and the, and the, the statues everywhere. It's just overdone. So we wanted something a little more subtle. So coming around the side of the van, this van has a 6.3 from Van Compass. So it's gonna be a few inches higher than most vans. And then our beautifully dirty uh, bronze owl talon wheels, which we came out with and have been a huge success. And I would say one of the coolest things about coming out with a wheel is the fact that Black Rhino, one of the biggest wheel manufacturers in the world, just copied this wheel for Sprinter vans. And so they say that, uh, you know, replication is the sincerest form of flattery. So for one of the biggest wheel companies out there to, for you to scare them enough, that little owl vans, they had to copy our wheel. It's, uh, I actually kind of like it. So these are, um, what are these are a 285 17, 75 17 so it's about a 33 uh we go it's a 33 and change we go up to a 35 we have a special module that allows you to run oversized tires on these without throwing codes and so our ultimate beast has 35s on it yeah so these are solar panels i just thought it was a good use of space we don't make these we get them from a from another company and i just thought it was a cool use of space to do something on the hood and make it useful and for me, this is really good for like the van sits out here. Uh, doesn't get used as much, certainly in the winter as I would like to. And so this just keeps the chassis battery uh, charged so that whenever you jump in, you know it's gonna start right up. These, come, these are on all factory sprinters, but as you can see, and this isn't even in Arizona sun, this is in Northern California sun. You see how this is kind of starting to melt. So these things get hot and they kind of melt over time. We actually have a really cool product coming out for that, hopefully in the next few months. So uh, stay tuned, we're always working on something. So these are called ditch lights and these are really good for just lighting up kind of the side of the road. And you can get SAE, which means street legal or non street legal ones. I actually use these a lot in snow. Uh, you know, so I'll aim these off to the sides just to kind of get a better view of where the road's going, especially if you're in snow at night, those come in handy. And if you're off-road, off-road, We've got five Baja Designs LP9s up there, which basically make you like a lunar lander. You're gonna be able to see anything you want. And those are mounted to uh, one of our roof racks. So we have roof racks coming out later this year. We've had the materials and the designs for almost two years now. We just haven't had the capacity to build them. And we haven't had the space either. And I kept saying, oh, when we move to Arizona, we'll have tons of space. And then we filled it all up again. But 
we'll make space. We're gonna give Install their own facility now that they're growing, and we're gonna take over where Install is and make roof racks. A side step is on, and it's maybe the dirtiest it's ever been. Uh, hey, we use the van, so they get dirty. I gotta get it cleaned. One of the innovations for our side step is um, our tread plate right here. And what this does, it's just one of the things that we really try to think through. When you have a rounded tube like this and you're exiting the van, it tends to get, your, where you're stepping tends to roll away, which makes your foot tend to fall off. It's a little bit dangerous. And that's true of all tubular side steps. And a lot of people put band-aids, like they'll put grip tape on it and stuff like that. So what we decided to do was um, really invent something that has an upturned lip right here and that grabs your foot. So even if you only get a little bit on there, that pounds per square inch grab your foot and it's really, really strong and secure. And it's one of those things where initially you don't think it's gonna work as well as it does. And then once you get used to using it, you don't even think about it. You'll have stuff in your hand, you won't even look and you'll just get part of your heel on and you'll step right out and you don't care because it's super secure and you get used to it. And then anyone that's ever been kind of snowy, muddy weather, we put a boot scraper on this end because keeping the inside of your van clean is always difficult. And so if you can get big chunks of mud, sleet, and snow off before you get in the van, uh, that's really nice. This is cool. So one of the nicest things in addition to being replicated by big companies is when other companies start companies that make accessories for your stuff. So this is Reeb Gear. Uh, they do really cool stuff and they have a bunch of accessories. So this is a little clip that can be inserted to different things. It also works in, um, in the back here. So I don't have a Sherpa on this, but it was intended for Sherpas, but you can do it like, like that as well. And so it's really cool for strapping things. And people use them for dog leashes. I use them when, if I wanna bring like an inflatable paddle board or something. Kind of our, our classic ladder tire carrier, it's become really uh, kind of the look of adventure vans. And whether it's ours or one of the ones that looks like ours, these have become really popular. And this has been on there for a few years now. And then on the right, we have our B2 with our brand new monster box. So this is a really cool box that we've been working on for a while. So the way this box works is it's an over under. And sorry, this one's brand new, so I don't even have my stuff in it yet. But the way this box works is we wanted to have an area where you could pull stuff out and work on it. So if you have bags of recovery gear or whatever, you can set it here. If some people put grills here. Some people, um, you know, will just use it as a table because you can open your door sideways and then it's kind of in your living area. So really, really happy with how this box turned out. It also swallows, the reason we call it a monster box, it swallows a massive amount of stuff. So monster box, tire carrier, and then down here we have our hitch step, which is, it's one of my favorite products aesthetically that we make. I think it's just really, really clean. It's machined aluminum. So we could get by with laser cutting that and it would be so much cheaper. But little things like these radiuses around those cutouts and then on the back and so on, I, the, the little in, inset, Owl. I just love the look of machine products so much that even though it costs a fortune for us to do, I'm gonna keep machining that because I like it. When we came out with the Monster Box, we were planning on not having it work with bike racks. It was kind of a one or the other because it's so big. But then people kept wanting to buy this and saying, please, 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 can we have bike rack too? So by the addition of a mini Sherpa up here, it allows you more mounting holes so that we could put the bike tubes up even higher and so this is something where we never really intended you to have bikes up that high. And with a standard large box or a medium box, these are gonna be lower. And then again, keep in mind, th this tire on most vans will be smaller. And so these will come down even more. And then this van has the two inch lift on it and the big tires. So realistically, if this was one of our normal B2s, these bikes would be about where my hand is here. Completely different scenario from this. I could get them up there, but I'm gonna struggle with them and it's gonna be um, you know, a light carbon fiber mountain bike. It's not gonna be an e-bike or anything like that, or even a road bike. So that's why I have this way to show people that really, really want the Monster Box that it is possible, but you're gonna have to give up some convenience to do it. So these are, um, these are flares. These come on a, uh, a Rebel from the factory, but really flare space is well known for kind of pioneering that. When I started, I made the rear ladder tire carrier because I did not like side ladders. And the reason is, when you're going off road, they get caught on things. And when they get caught on things, they tear up your, your rocker panels and they damage the van pretty heavily. And I didn't want to create a product that would potentially damage people's vans. And I know it sounds rare, it happens all the time. Down here, really tight to the van. It spaces out as you get up here, but really tight down here. And by using these square steps, 
you see the steps can come out further from the tube and give you a little bit more platform. Because if you had a round tube, keep in mind, if this was a round tube, your foot would be supported at the center of this hole. But with this step, that comes all the way out here another inch. Doesn't sound like much, but what, I've, what we've been able to accomplish is have this whole thing several inches tighter to the van and still give your foot the same purchase. Because this is not gonna get caught. It's sealed on the sides. This is not gonna get caught on a trail like these tubes will. And then what we did, which is one of my favorite innovations we've done, is the very bottom there, I don't know if you can see it. See these bright uh, aluminum bolts? Those are very low strength breakaway aluminum bolts. Meaning, it's just like a derailleur on a bike. It has a thin piece of aluminum holding it on. So if you crash, that thin piece of aluminum snaps and all your mechanism is fine. So most people try to build really strong steel mounting points. That's the absolute worst idea. Those cheap little bolts, if you catch this on anything on the trail, they're gonna snap off. Yeah, you'll have to put your ladder inside your van, but your van's not wrecked and the ladder's not wrecked. And then you can put the bolts back in, just get a new set from us. And it's one of those things that, that we really tried to think through as a way to make it so that these can't mess up your van. I wish this was more, more impressive. It is kind of a standard Revel, so you can check out uh, videos. There are tons of videos on Revels, Winnebago Revels and so on, but um, it's pretty basic. So I apologize. Like I said, this van is always in a constant state of flux. So uh, I actually have a Rome rig. This is really cool. So Rome rig takes standard uh, vehicles off the showroom floor and puts massive uh, lithium battery uh, upgrades in them. So this is a whole, normally this is empty pretty much from the factory, but Rome rig filled it with lithium batteries. So I can run my AC and so on for, you know, all day on battery power, no problem. For me, since Revels are really good, like an interior like this is really good if you're like one or two people or one or two, one or two people and a child. Anything more than what I call about 2.5 people, which is two, two, two full-size humans and a tiny human, um, you're gonna either want a 170 or something more like a storyteller where uh, you don't have this dedicated bathroom. But this is a game changer for those that uh, don't have too many people in their van. Try to use a lot of space. We use the door for dirty laundry and trash and first aid and stuff like that. And then um, this is a shower curtain that's kind of cool. This is made by Canyon Adventure Vans. So they designed a shower curtain that pulls way out so that you get a little extra room when you're showering. It's got magnets on the bottom so that, that it, it stays in. This continues to go around, it stays in and then you can pull it way out. So you get kind of more space in there. Thought that was a really cool design. Jason over at Canyon Adventure figured that out pretty cool. And then you've got your shower in here and it's actually a decent sized shower. So it's like a, I don't know the term, like a wet closet or whatever. They, I'm sure there's some Britishy term for it. And this is really cool. Visibility out the back of these vans is always difficult, especially once they're built out. So this is something we're prototyping. This is a, they use them in NASCAR and Porsche Cup racing now. So this is a full digital display. So we have a camera that's mounted inside the rear window. And this, it's not one of those hacky like Amazon things that you get for like 200 bucks. These are super, super nice quality. In fact, a lot of the really high-end manufacturers are now like starting to put these in vehicles because they're so good. This looks like a 4K TV screen. It's insane. So this thing has been wired. We're putting this test unit in because we wanted to see how hard it was to run the wires down to the back. We figured it out. So we're gonna be able to install these for customers. So that's why all these wires are hanging out. So that's what that's gonna be. So I can see out the back really easily. This is a Garmin tread. So these things spin around to give you more living area. So these are Schumann seats again, filthy. I'm sorry, I didn't know we were doing a van tour today. Um, Schumann's a German company. Seats are a very specific thing. And this again, same as bicycles. I think when people sit on a bicycle seat, and it's really soft and cushy, they're like, oh, this is perfect. It's so comfortable, but that's for actual long rides, especially for road cyclists. They have almost like no padding because you want to be supported. And so um, these seats are really firm. And so the sprinter seats are really soft, which feels good when you're at a dealership and you sit in them and some people love them. But for a lot of uh, folks, when you sit in them, if you're a bigger person, it kind of rolls everything together. And so these are really good. They're a much firmer seat. And for long road trips, uh, people swear by them. And it definitely helps me. My back was hurting the old seats. And so we swapped them out for these. Owlvans.com. And if you ever visit our website, you'll probably see my face all over your computer screen. I apologize for that. So you'll want to get rid of me, not find me. So feel free to give us a call or drop us a line.